proud that the brothers on the rise now. Endless celebrations all in my house. Yeah. Levitating now, I'm super duper fly now. Yeah. London boy, but they see where I reside now. Put the time in while you always yell a time out. Yeah. And the critic, cause I know I'm coming with it. You were sitting, you were wishing I was handling my business. Yeah. Now I got the ball like Harry Potter playing Quidditch. And my business is so humongous, you would think that happens in there. Damn man, I'm all that, yeah, I'm all that. I'm all that. Looking for that whip, yeah, that what you call that. Yo, welcome back everybody, it's me, Z, and I'm back with another Call of Duty video. Yo, I got a dope glitch for you guys. We're going to be going out of the area at headquarters. If you want to see how to do this one, stay tuned. All right, guys, um, so this is how you're going to be able to go out of area in Call of Duty World War II. Um, this is out of area um, for the base camp, okay? So what you want to do is go ahead and start it up and go ahead and select multiplayer. Once you do that, guys, go ahead and select online and go ahead and connect online and you're going to go to the base. All right, guys, so once you've loaded into headquarters, what you want to do is go ahead and make your way down toward the beach. Um, and I'm going to show you how to get there. So you just want to go ahead and follow the way that I take right here, guys. All right, once you get down to the beach, you wanna to go to this stand right here and you wanna go ahead to where um, this is right here, okay? And you wanna go ahead and hold square on this right here and go ahead and start this up, okay guys? Once you hold square to start this up, you're going to get an alert um, asking you, are you sure you want to start this? You just want to go ahead and accept the alert. Okay, so this right here is score streak training. Um, like I said, go ahead and hold square um, and go ahead and start this up and accept the alerts that come up. Okay, once you start this and you accept the alerts and you start it, what you want to do now is quickly go and go ahead, go to your hit the dashboard button and you're going to go to your network and you're going to disconnect your internet. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start this right here. Now we're going to hit our dashboard button. We're going to go turn off our internet and then we're going to quickly go back to the game. Uh, once we go back to the game, we're going to let this load up like this. We're going to get an error saying that our internet was um, disconnected. Okay, once you get that, go ahead and accept that alert. Go ahead and join the fight. Play online. Now quickly go back and re-establish internet connection. Once you re-establish internet connection, go ahead and go back to the game and click online. It's once you select online, you're going to go ahead and let all this load back up. Okay, now it's going to load back up. Everything is going to look normal. All right, guys. Okay, once you load back into headquarters, you want to go ahead and hit your start menu. Once you hit your start menu, uh, you want to go ahead and go over to find match and go over to custom match. Once you go over to custom match, you will see the map actually says build headquarters. As you see right there, it actually says the grounds. Okay, so if it says the grounds right there, then you know you got the glitch correct. 
So at that time, go ahead and go to the lobby and then mash over and start the match. Now remember, you can invite your friends in and you guys can all do this glitch together in headquarters. You can actually do a death match in headquarters. Yes, it's pretty dope. So once you go ahead and start the match, it's going to load up. All right, guys, once the match does start, uh, once you get the timer to count down saying the match is going to start, um, what you want to do at that time is go ahead and pull out a grenade and just pull the pin on it and hold the grenade in your hand. Now, when you do that, um, obviously, you're going to kill yourself just like this. Okay, once you kill yourself and you respawn, uh, you will spawn behind the wires okay now if you do not spawn behind the wires just try it again kill yourself as you see uh it's my second attempt okay now this time we did respawn behind the line now see there's like an invisible uh, invisible line in there that you cannot cross you cannot go certain places so once you respawn like this be very careful and what you want to do is go ahead and go up this hill that is behind you okay so now we are we are now out of area Okay, guys, now you can go anywhere on the map. Now, I'm going to show you guys really quick um, before I speed through uh, me showing you several locations here on the map. Um, there are several holes um, in the ground in throughout this map. Okay, guys, so you will fall through. And when you fall through, you will respawn in the same area every time. Now, you will respawn behind the fence every time. So you do not have to do the glitch over again. As you see, I fell through the map. I respawned right back here behind the fence. Okay, so just be careful where you walk because you will fall through. Now, there are several places you can go and check out all kinds of things that you can do. It's pretty dope. I'm going to speed through the rest of this video. Guys, make sure you like, subscribe, donate, and share. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I'm your boy. Check out the rest of this video. Peace. Like water, so I'm going mainstream. Yeah. 